YouTubers, subscribers, and friends, welcome to my channel. Larry's here. I've been up since six. My cat I woke up to my cat throwing up this morning on the floor. Go out here and say good morning. Oh, he's got a loaded truck. All loaded up for business. Morning. Good morning. Good morning, Brandy. Josie, come here and say good morning. You jealous boy. Okay, the first thing we're going to do today is bury this cable, drill a hole in the wall so we can run the cable from there to here. That's our first job today. Starting off easy. Easy peasy. So that we can finish the insulation there and then put some drywall in. I don't know what job number two is going to be, but Larry's getting the tools for this right here. Alright, the internet wire is done. Buried this ditch, and uh, I'll tap into this later when we're ready to move in. Right now, I don't want to connect it, but that'll work for now. All right, we're gonna start on some drywall today. Finish uh, drywall that closet area. Got it all cleaned up and ready to go. It's kind of muggy in here today. That loud fan. We did some drywall upstairs there, and uh, Larry's going to do some plumbing so we can clear this area out right here. All right, that's going to be for the vanity? Yeah, that's going to be the drain. Bathtub, toilet, vanity. All right, just finished lunch, and look at the clouds rolled in while we were having lunch. Got darker and a little cooler here. Still working on the plumbing here. There's a wasp right there. A little wasp. Inside or outside? Looks like he's on the outside. Oh. <coughs> I think that's a thing. The plumbing. Nice For the water. Huh? Talking to the camera. Oh my god, that stuff stinks. Whew. You get all lightheaded with that stuff. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. The big bird is back. I had to get out and get some air because that freaking glue is freaking making me high. Look at him. He just flew right over us. Catching those up, up drafts or whatever they're called. Look at the clouds. He's a pretty bird. Who's a pretty bird? You are, you pretty little bird. You, you're just flying around. <laughs> the animal control came and took the cage away, and they said this case is closed because they didn't catch any dog. Oh, there's another one coming in over here on the right. Two of them. He's coming in hot. Well, he's just booking along there. 
It was a huge bird. The other one took off over there. Where is it? There he is right there. That's you. It's like humid out right now. I don't know how Larry stands the smell of that glue. He's in there waiting for it to dry. I had to get out and get some air. Oh, looking right over me. Cool these birds are. Not really much for me to do anything in there. He's just gluing pipes together. Beautiful birds. My wife says there's some cooler weather coming next week. She's, she's my weather girl. Alright, so my wife wants us to run a water line all the way through that wall and come out here so that she has a faucet out here sticking out in case she ever wants to use a water hose for anything out here come in and changing things again when Larry already just put an elbow for the pipe to run up now we gotta cut that off and run it through the weather is changing oh, look there's a bird again Where'd he go? Man, when he turns, he disappears. He's there somewhere. Anyways, the weather is changing. It's like cooled down like 15 degrees. It's cloudy. Looks like it's gonna rain. And over here, oh look, look, there's three of them. That's cool. Hope my camera's picking them up because I can't see it in the viewfinder. You cute little come on down here so I can squeeze you. <laughs> Each one of you want to squeeze. Oh, he's dive bombed. Oh, there's four of them. It's like David Copperfield, he just appeared out of nowhere. Four of them right there. It's amazing how they don't run into each other. Alrighty, we finally got. We had to take this drywall piece off here because my wife wants a water stick it through, sticking through there. So. Have to go back in time and remove this drywall. Now we got this. I'm gonna drill a hole, the siding there, so we can get that done. But we forgot to buy the water spigot thing go out there. So what'd you say? You put a cap on or something? Yeah. Well, uh, actually, I want to smell it. I have discovered that doing plumbing. It's an extremely boring job and takes forever for this measuring and remeasuring, drilling and redrilling. This whole plumbing area right here is taking us several hours I'm waiting for him to drill through right here. So we're working on the tub uh, knob to turn the water on and off to hot and cold and this thing does not want to screw in. Luckily, uh, Larry has a spare one. This one is toast already on the tip. This is the critter that's giving us a problem. Look in the sunlight here. The all three were hard to screw in. Took a while to get them in, but this one did not want to go in. This is what uh, has the hot. This is the hot side, cold side. This is what goes shows in, in the tub. This part here. Maybe this, this is a little different style. Maybe these are better. Yeah. That went in real easy. Yeah. Like right here now. So uh, this is what we're doing with the plumbing. The vanity. This is the drain for the sink. That's the cold and hot side. This is going up to the water heater. And we gotta get more pipe, have one come back down. That's going to the tub. This is what we're working on right here. Right, Larry? Yep. We're done working on the tiny house. Larry had volunteered to climb underneath my house because he's trying to find out where the sewage comes out so we can find it on the outside of the house. He's crawled back all the way back there and back there. 
Last time we were under here is when we were doing the water, rerouting the water pipe, the PEX tubing. And when I was coming out after we were done, I kicked this brick over with my knee and there was a huge scorpion underneath it. And there was an eight foot snake skin laying right over there. And I saw the next day. And uh, what's going on here? Josie's hot, she's in this pool. And then he's in here now, I don't even see him. He's got the bright flashlight. You all right, Larry? Larry? I ain't going under there after him, something happens now. That is way too scary. Larry? I don't see no light at all. Oh, I can see it moving back there, so I guess he's okay. Don't get bit by a snake, Larry. Or a scorpion. This is too scary for me. Don't pay, I ain't getting paid enough to do this kind of a job. It stinks like rats under here, man. Larry, if you can't talk, whistle. Once if you're hurt, twice if you're not hurt. Larry? Oh, good, I see the light. Larry, if you're okay, don't say anything. I guess he's okay. I have no idea if he can even hear me. Oh, here he comes. Okay, good. Whew, thank God. I was not going to have to go climbing under there. I was about ready to call 911, Larry. You didn't hear me calling you? Had me all worried, Larry. If you didn't come out in five minutes, I was going to close it up and just call 911. You see any snakes? Any rats? No. That looks like a big dead spider laying right there. there. Right there. Of course, my imagination running wild. It could have been anything. No. Did you find it? Yeah, it's over there in the corner. In the back corner. Okay. Good, he found the, the piping. You say it comes out and goes down. Your, your it goes guess down under the house. Goes down under that foundation. And then it comes out. Probably. Well, I know, like I said, I know it doesn't there because I went down a foot and a half deep for this wall. They could have put the elbow point in this way. I would you see that? You see that wire? You see that little stick is in the ground right there? Yeah. Or hole, whatever that's to the right. You see that wire? Yeah. That's where my uh, septic tank cap is. Probably dig right where you're standing. But I already dug this trench right here, and I didn't hit nothing. I don't need to dig over here. I need to. Where would your best guesstimate be? You're over here to dig, because right over here is my septic tank. Right here, right here. This is the circle where the lid is, and the pipe comes out. Yeah, the pipe comes out about this, right, maybe right here, because there's still indention right here where the circle is. Comes out this way? Like I said, when I, when I see it come into the septic tank, it's a straight one, so I don't know if it like angles, that? but... I mean, common sense said you would go at an angle, right? Yeah, they, they want to dig a straight line, so they use the least amount of pipe. All right, according to our exact calculations, from that corner to here, how many feet do you think that is, Larry? 28 feet? Yeah, about that. This ground is so hard to dig, we're gonna let water soak in it. And how far do you think from here to there? 50 feet? Probably. Uh -huh. Wire somewhere right there. Right there where that wire is. <coughs> it only makes sense that it would be diagonal from that wire straight there to me. I mean, for me, from doing irrigation, that's how I do it. You don't know if these people in Arizona, you don't know how they do it. Arizona Nights, how do you say them? Arizonians? Arizonians, Arizona Nights, how do you say it? What would you call Arizonians? 
Arizonians. All right, Larry's leaving for the day. Let's do a recap. I've been digging for 25 minutes, letting the water soak and then digging this up. I'm down, I got, this is two feet marked on the shovel here. I am down about two feet. The septic tank is buried about, the top of the lid is buried about three feet down. I'm going to dig for another 10 more minutes to let this soak first. And if I don't hit anything, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Letting that water soak because it's impossible to dig without the water. Larry and I, I don't feel like we accomplished much today. We did get some drywall done here and here and here. This one we had to take off again because my wife added, the, she wanted a water spigot outside. Um, we ran out of pipe. We need more pipe because we had to use that pipe to run that water spigot for outside. So now we don't have anything to run up to the water heater. So that means another Home Depot run. I don't know when. Uh, we need to get some caps so Larry can test this. We don't have that. So we did get the cable done. Dug that up and uh, buried that. Got that ran through the ground and in the wall here. And uh, that insulator. Larry's not going to be here tomorrow. So uh, there will be no tiny house project tomorrow. Although I might, depending if I find anything here, I might do some more digging tomorrow. Who knows? I have no idea. It's nice and cool right now. So that's why I'm digging now and using the water to help dig because this Arizona ground is freaking hard. It is, what time is it? It is 6.25 p.m. I'm actually starving, man. But uh, that's the pitfalls of building something. You know, not just a tiny house, but having construction projects. You have your good days, you have your bad days, you have your days where you get a lot accomplished, and you have days like today where I don't feel like we did anything. Ex Larry actually left three times a day. He had some personal stuff he had to take care of three different times a day. So that kind of slowed everything down today. And I don't know, he seemed like he had a lot on his mind. So I don't know what's on his mind, but um, I thought we were going to do the ceiling today. He had me, he punked me. He had me all pumped up that we were going to do the ceiling. And I've been wanting to get that ceiling done so bad. And uh, he won't be back till Wednesday, so I don't know. I, I, I might continue to dig here because he said he went under the house. He said it comes out in that corner there and goes down. Uh, I already digged for that trench there. I already went down freaking uh, eight inches to bury that, and I didn't hit anything. And I'm two feet down here, and I know it's three feet on the septic tank, so I'll dig another foot, and if I don't hit anything, that means I either missed it on this side or I missed it on that side because it doesn't run this way, it's running this way which is going to suck and as hard as this ground is right here and as hard as that was to dig that foundation I'm not even looking forward to having to dig this wherever that pipe is we have to dig a pipe for the for the uh, uh, toilet and for the uh, shower water and all that stuff and then I have to dig it might not be this far out it might be closer to the freaking car part but I have no idea how hard this ground is. Um, I know there's nothing in this area here that I have to worry about hitting. Uh, the trencher is, man, it's a couple hundred, almost three hundred dollars to rent. Um, I don't know if it'd be even worth renting the trencher and just trenching all this with the machine and then trenching it to there and then just running a trench line straight across there and, and then hopefully hit the sewage pipe that way we find it and then we can repair it and then we can tap into it I, I have no idea I'm not a construction I don't do this stuff for a living all I know is that's some back breaking ground to dig there and uh, digging and then waiting for it to absorb the water which is doing very very slowly it's just man I'm just not looking forward to this part of the tiny house at all but uh, that's the that's my day today I am wore out and uh, if you like this kind of videos, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It don't cost you anything. It's free. I'm going to dig for 10 more minutes. Maybe try to dig one more foot down and then I'm going to go in, hit the showers and give me some dinner because I am freaking starving.
thanks for watching my videos taking the time of your day to watch my videos like like i said leave me a comment i read all comments i reply back to every comment that i see and uh, look at the sun setting it's still so high up in the air for 6 25 p.m in the afternoon that's my video i'm gone yeah, 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 I'm gone. <laughs>